Hello everybody, I'm George from Bowman Guitars today, and I have a special guest with me, and his name is? My name is Kevin Kim. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Charvel San Dimas Natural. Uh, this is an awesome guitar. We have uh, ebony fretboard, 25 and a half inch scale length, all gold hardware, Two Seymour Duncan pickups. You got the JB in the bridge. You got the SH in the neck. Let me cheat right here. SH, what is that? We got to make sure we're saying the right thing, right? The 59, how did I forget that? 59 in the neck, volume, tone, no load, tone, uh, coil tap on the volume, three-way pickup selector, ash body, uh, it plays pretty well. I played it before. A locking tuners, if I didn't mention. Kevin, first impressions. Uh, what do you think? Rolled fret edges. It's got a few different things on here to help with comfort and playability. It's, it's pretty excellent as a, as a guitar. You said uh, the uh, fretboard is made out of what again? Uh, that is ebony. That's ebony. Okay. Just to be even more thorough, it is definitely... Bolt on uh, maple neck, graphite reinforcement rods, rolled edges, 12 to 16 inch compound radius, um, hand rubbed urethane gel on the back of the neck, knurled flat top knobs. It is actually aged ebony. I aged left ebony. out the aged part. So nice. it's like cheese. They waited until it gets to the perfect time until they harvest it. I see. Because I usually have more um, experience with um, guitars with a rosewood fretboard. But I don't get many chances to play the ebony fretboard, and it had a slightly different feel from what I expected. And if anything, I prefer actually more over the rosewood. It's a little bit more comfortable, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, let's get a clip of the bridge pickup. Uh, Kevin, let's hear a little clip of what this sounds like. <laughs> That was awesome. Very defined, enough low end, enough highs. Sounded very good. It's, uh, yeah. What did you think? I, th I thought it's, so you said that the bridge pickup is um, that. It's a JB. It's a JB. Mm -hmm. And the JB, it's, I feel like it has more of a, uh, how would I put it? More of a lean towards the higher um, amplitudes or higher frequency, I mean, on the EQ. Absolutely, yeah. So, and um, it, was it originally designed for players like that? Yeah, it's the JB is like I think it's more of a broad pickup. Like it's a, it covers it's a, broad, a, okay. a whole different range, and with this because it's got the coil tapping too, you can get even more tones. But let's hear uh, let's hear the middle pickup. Let's see sure. what you can do with that. <laughs> It's very smooth. Um, I like how we're getting a little bit of the cream of the neck with a little bit of the bite of the bridge. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, let's see what that uh, neck pickup sounds like. <laughs> Responsive, creamy, and we always like to use the word buttery because buttery. It sounds buttery and smooth. It does sound pretty fat. I agree. Um, let's see if we pull the coil tap. What uh, the same position would sound like? Would that be in the volume pot or the? Uh, that should be the volume. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> It's, Very nice. It's, it's, it's definitely got that attack that like you would hear from like a Fender to a Stratocaster. Yep, those, that single coil spank. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's hear the middle position coil tapped. Very nice. And let's 
go to the neck coil tap. Very nice. That's There's a lot of usable tones in this, uh, as you can hear. Um, let's go over to the clean side and let's show the look really how much versatility this thing has. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll go back to the humbucker. So mm. we're in clean right now and yeah, let's let's hear what it's got. Mm. Wow, sparkly, uh very clear, definitely a lot of that, that bridge shines through with that. Uh, let's hear that middle position. That is, that is awesome. Uh, one more clip, uh, clean in neck position. Let's hear that. Wow, that is sounds amazing. Crystal clean. Uh, you could see this guitar has a variety of tones in it everything from clean to mean uh, clean to mean yeah, I, mean, I like that one you like that <laughs> yeah it's very cool i mean and for its price point i mean it's it's got a lot of features packed in it what are your uh feelings about this after playing with it for a little while so one thing I do have to say is that it's a very aesthetically pleasing guitar. Um, for one, when you take a look at it, like the gold hardware immediately pops out to you along and complement that with the natural looking body. Uh, you got something that looked like it came out of, I don't know, some sort of nature preserve or something. I don't know. Like, it's like you have to climb one of those mountains and then you finally get the, the perfect piece of wood, right? Yeah, definitely. Pretty much. And you said the uh, fretboard, the, this is the ebony fretboard and the neck is made out of what again? Maple. Maple? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it definitely has that, um, I have a Telecaster, so that has a, a maple neck. So I'm, I'm definitely like, comfortable with that feel right there. But overall, as a guitar, like I said, it's not only aesthetically pleasing, but it also is able to go into a whole range of styles. Um, Complement that with this, uh, the what's this coil called tapping. again? Yes, the coil tap. You could go easily from a humbucker to a single coil without any trouble. You don't even need two guitars at the point anymore. It's true. Lots of versatility. So that was... a. Uh... That was our overview of this Charvel. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please leave comments below, like, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think about our new guest. Uh, please leave comments below. Dude, play us out of this one, man. Let me put you back to distortion. This is your chance to rip. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Peace. Hello, everybody. I'm George from Beaumont Guitars, and today I have a special guest with me. Hello. <laughs> we'll do that again. There you go. That was it, man. That was it. Nice. That, that easy. It just right? and it was only one run through. Also. That's all it is. Okay, I was afraid I, I would f*** up saying something like, nah, say, dude, you did good. like say something like this guitar would make my testicles explode or. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if we could say testicles, but, uh, but I've said, trust me, I've said a lot of worse things. You so. said a lot of worse things? Yeah, I've said, yeah, I've said tons of stuff. So yeah, don't worry. There's nothing you could possibly talk about that I haven't shamed already. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was easy, right? Yeah. See, it's painless. It's that was just awesome. like going to the doctor, man, after the first couple minutes. It's Thanks for the opportunity, over. dude. Like, this is, I've never done a product review before. Dude, so. I've this never <laughs> literally grabbed somebody, like, from the front of the store before as they're playing guitar. So, this was definitely a first.